Hey, what's up, guys? So we are here for the Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying review slash observations. So starting off with the Q1 knockouts, uh, it was Bottas in P16, Joe in P17, Sargent in P18, Ocon in P19, and Gasly in P20. And wow, the rush of qualifying has not faded away one bit since last season. Sargent has made a step forward with his performance this season, but I'm afraid that it may not be good enough of an improvement. And Alpines, as expected, both are knocked out in Q1. I mean, what a miserable start to a season. I mean, how they're going to overturn this pace deficit is a mystery of its own, and they need a miracle to make it happen. With a new concept, you usually expect for the baseline to be stronger and better than its predecessor, but here the problem is that the A524 is slower and unstable compared to its predecessor, the A523, which had much better pace than the A524. And now moving on to the Q2 knockouts, uh, starting with Sonora in P11, Stroll in P12, Albon in P13, Ricardo in P14, and Magnussen in P15. VCarb has definitely gained quite a bit of pace over last year, but it's it's not a significant one to put them as a consistent top 5 finisher like Ricardo had predicted during the car launch. Albon on the other hand pumps in a solid lap to qualify P13 for the race, which is two places higher from where he qualified this time last year. The Williams seems to be a much better car and let's see what he can do in the race from there. And moving on to Stroll now, Stroll's inconsistency continues as he fails to make it into Q3 yet again at the season opener. And I feel like the Aston Martin car for this year definitely has the pace to get into Q3. So it's definitely a missed opportunity from the Canadian. And now moving on to Q3, the top 10 starting order would be Hulkenberg in P10, Hamilton in P9, Piastri in P8, Norris in P7, Alonso in P6, Perez in P5, Sainz in P4, Russell in P3, Leclerc in P2, and Verstappen takes pole yet again. Now that's quite the top 10 starting order for the race tomorrow. Max took pole by over two tenths of a margin from P2. However, he did get a bit of a tow from Piastri at the start of his lap. And I genuinely feel like Charles had all the pace and potential to take pole position for the Grand Prix because his fastest lap from Q2 was good enough to secure him pole. Because Max's pole lap was actually slower than what Charles managed to do uh, on his fastest lap at Q2. So it's a bit of a missed opportunity from the Monaco's driver. But I'm in a way glad that Red Bull is not walking away this season like they were last season and that they are closer to the pack. The grid order is also relatively close this season and the Ferrari of this year is more focused towards race trim than qualifying. So I expect Ferrari to mount a tough challenge this season for the race win like how it was in 2022. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did love Alonso's one-shot quarry lap in Q3. That Aston Martin at the Bahrain Grand Prix at night with the floodlights, with no other car on the track, just in quarry trim. Just a bliss to watch. And that too in the hands of Fernando Alonso. That was quite something. And moving on to Checo now, uh, Perez, I mean, he had a good qualifying because three and a half tenths is not the real gap to Max. I mean, let's not forget, Max did get a bit of a toe at the start of his push lap uh, from Piastri. So if we take a tenth out of the equation, two and a half tenths is not that big of a margin. And I really hope that uh, Perez doesn't let it extend the season any further. P5 is a decent shout. It's not like Max is miles ahead of the field. He is right with the pack. As I think the gap between Leclerc in P2 and Max from pole is about two tenths. So it's not like Max is just running away from the field. And if you take that one tenth off for the toe, just a tenth of a gap uh, splitting Leclerc and Max. I don't think Perez did that bad of a job. And when you compare the gap between pole to the next non-Red Bull car from last season, it was about three tenths. So the pack is actually a whole lot closer to the Bulls this season. And I hope it stays the same uh, under the race trim as well and there is no drastic difference there. So that we can have an interesting race. So if we take Leclerc's fastest lap time from Q2 which was 129, 165, uh, the 2024 car is about half a second quicker than the 2023 car uh, under the quality trim at Bahrain Grand Prix. So these new regulation of cars are actually getting half a second quicker each season because the 2023 car was actually half a second quicker to the pole time compared to the pole time set by the 2020 car. So yes guys, that would be my quick review and observation of the Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying. 
buying and i hope you all enjoyed the pecking order was actually a lot closer and i think we're gonna have a really interesting race tomorrow and i hope you all enjoyed this video if you didn't make sure to the like button and let me know down in the comments on how do you think tomorrow's race is gonna pan out with that being said if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the end master channel and also hit the bell icon while you're at it so you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video and until next time it's me vinesh from brand master and i'm out love you guys stay safe peace